Fantastic, ready to get on the river. It's windy, it's raining. Who else wouldn't want to start a canoe trip? By the way, this is a canoe. So, how do you feel? Good, good. Be tired though. Yes, it was a good day. So we did 30 kilometers. Uh, we started out this morning in the rain and well, we finished in the rain. Now it stopped, which is nice. The clouds are pretty dark, but... Yeah. Um, tomorrow morning, well, it's actually pretty early. It's only like, what, six? I don't know. It's early. It's six. <laughs> Welcome to well, winter. we're going to probably go to bed pretty early by 7.30 or 8. Last night was a really late night. We were out celebrating. So, Anyways, um, it was a good day. Mm -hmm. The river was impressive. I wasn't sure what to expect, but it was really fast moving. A lot of small rapids, some straight stretches, clear water. Seen a lot of fish and a lot of birds. Yeah. What, what kind of birds did we see today? Um, ducks. Mallards, uh, yeah. Deeper. Dippers, um, kingfishers, kingfishers, herons, gray herons. Her, gray herons. We uh, saw marks of beavers. Yeah, there's some beaver uh, movement on the river. Seen a grouse actually right here at camp. We set up all of camp, which was kind of crazy. Uh, we were here for 20 minutes, and then uh, right above us in one tree, uh, chestnut grouse took off, flew away. We're like, uh, she'd been just sitting there the whole time while we set up camp. Probably we ruined her neck roosting the spot. Yeah. yeah, I think it was a roosting spot. So she was like wishing we were going away. Yeah, she flew across the river. So yeah. maybe it's a good spot if she pick it as <laughs> a roosting spot. But we just finished eating famous ramen noodles and uh, I think we're gonna yeah 
get a little sleep tonight and get up early and get going. Uh, the, we're doing the trip with um, uh, our canoe, which is a new pack boat, the 16.5 pack boat. And it, it did wonderful. Actually, I was really impressed. Uh, we even hit one class two rapid and it went right through it, no problem. A um, couple rocks, yeah. we skimmed right over. It's like a, I want to say, it, almost like a snake going over those rocks. It curls right around them and goes through, no problem. So, but a nice boat. I'm hoping to do a lot of trips with it. Yeah, I'm hoping to. So, so tomorrow, 30, 40 kilometers? 30, 40 kilometers, yeah. Okay. Need to push it a little bit more. Yeah. Yeah. And hopefully uh, some sunshine and no rain. That way we can take some more photos and video. Because we didn't even get the cameras out today. It was, no, it was pouring rain and we're like, ugh, no. So, but the what the, I mean, it's rain, but it's it's not bad. The temperatures oh. are good. The wind was on our back the whole way. So, well, I think we're going to finish our drinks and think about bed. Yeah, sounds cool. good. See you tomorrow. <laughs> good morning. Well, last night was a very windy night it's uh only 8 a.m but it's still quite dark and cloudy we were up quite a bit with heavy heavy rain and heavy winds the water level is up on the river it doesn't seem so bad right now it's calmed down in the last 15 20 minutes that's why we're out packing up taking the opportunity to get on the water without everything getting blown away so we'll see what happens see what the day brings but Ready to get on the water? Yeah. Actually, yeah, the water is rising yeah. during the night. So, finish packing after a good breakfast that Jesse made. A few things, the poncho ready to break the wind. Last night was very, very windy and rainy. And now the river is up probably, at first I was thinking like 10, 20 centimeters, but it's probably close to 30, 40 centimeters in a lot of areas, which made the rapids nicer. Zipped through a lot of them. Yeah. But um, the water's moving, it's, it's fast. And there's a lot of areas we have to portage because now there's big rapids. Um, anyways, it's still a little rainy, windy, but not so bad. We had a nice uh, morning, no, not much rain. No. The wind was pushing us. A lot so of wildlife. That's nice. Yeah. Um, what did we see? A muskrat. Muskrat. Uh, two beavers. Two beavers, two nutria. Yeah. Um, a lot of herons, a lot of buzzards. Yeah. Um, seen uh, what, mallards and grebes and cormorants and kingfishers, dippers, same as yesterday. But the water is dirty you can't see the bottom it's there's so much sediment it's it's flooding it's at flood stage 
Um, but it's, we're making good time. And it's starting to rain. Yeah, right at dinner time. Awesome. Um, something interesting last night, I forgot to mention this morning. Oh, uh, yeah. What happened? No, you don't have to give all the details. No, no, but no, what happened? <laughs> go for it. Um, we were getting ready for bed. And um, all of a sudden, there was uh, a noise outside. It was kind of like a barking, but a coughing barking. And uh, we first looked at each other like, what? And then both at the same time, like, otter. There was a river otter coming down the bank and apparently found our camp and wasn't real happy with us. So we rushed outside, but we didn't get a look at it. But you could hear it like barking going up the bank and it disappeared. But uh, no, we have about a half a day yet. We've done, what, 15, 15 seven, Yeah, 15, 17 kilometers. Yeah, we have another 10, 15 we'd like to do by the end of the day. Just taking a lunch break. Carol made us some soup and. We had a big portage, uh, probably 300 meter portage, but for this river that's pretty big. Um, it's yeah, pretty good. Not a lot of people on the on the river in the middle of December though. So we're gonna eat. boil some water to do dishes uh, we had to leave lunch in a hurry uh, good afternoon it rained for a little bit but uh, the afternoon evening like around what 3 30 mm -hmm. like the Sun came out and I should say afternoon evening it's only like what 4 30 now five <laughs> it's five o'clock uh, <laughs> sunsets early here and it rises late um, anyways uh, it was a good afternoon. The sun came yeah. out and it's gorgeous. I mean, yeah, the, you can hear in the background. That's cool. I think it's a snipe in the background. But we've seen a lot of birds today. That was good. Yeah, we uh, we had like three big portage to do. Yeah, a couple of really big portages. Yeah, not uh, nice. not, one was not nice. The rest were okay. Um, but uh, yeah, one was up a real steep uh, embankment of uh, owl, scopes owl. Anyways, um, one was up uh, uh, probably a 10, 15 meter bank, about like that angle, just full of brambles and rose bushes. And anyways, we got up it. It took a little huffing and puffing, and I probably said a few things I shouldn't have. But uh, anyways, now I'm about ready for dinner and a beer and to relax. We put in what 30? Huh? Yeah, 30, 30 kilometers. About 30 kilometers, but the river is going fast, so. If it wasn't for the portages, we probably would have put in 40. No so, problem, yeah. No problem. But good day. Otherwise, yeah. A little bit of rain at lunchtime, but what's for dinner? I don't know. We haven't chewed it. <laughs> <laughs> some soup? Yeah. Some soup. chicken noodle soup? Yeah. Okay. Sounds good, yeah. Maybe some, some jambo. And jambo. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to have a nice shimmy, get the dishes done, tent set up, canoes up. Everything is good. The birds are calling. Sun is set, and maybe if we even will make a campfire. We'll see how we feel. But temperatures dropping off. Tomorrow is supposed to be a good day. Um, what? No rain, no wind, but cold. Uh, so temperatures are going to drop. It's going to open up. We have a high pressure front coming in, and yep, it's a snipe. Mm -hmm. Well, huh. anyways. See you tomorrow? No, it's time. Okay. I'm going to get dishes now. So, Carol. <laughs> Thank you for that.
Thank you very much for the fire, the push body, and everything. Oh, my socks are on fire. <laughs> Hot socks. So where are we now? We just passed Jose. Yeah. Not that Jose. Another Jose. Um, yeah, after it's like really turned out. So I don't know what Well. So, yeah, thank you. <laughs> my favorite part? Chartreuse. No, my favorite part was this afternoon. We were paddling nice and slow after a cloudy, rainy day. The sun came out. The whole like expanse of like forest and river in front of us was just glowing with a dark, dark cloud background. I mean, it was it was really gorgeous. It was nice, and no wind, and just it was beautiful. Nice, that golden hour of light, and right before camp, it was good. And drying my socks. Step out in that grass. Nope, but don't go past it. Excuse you. another day of adventure. Good morning. So we've been on the river for about 30 minutes. Already seen some beaver, lots of birds. It's a cool morning, a little chilly, but and the water level is really up. It's flowing. So it looks like we might get some clear sky in a little bit. See some blue up ahead. So it rained all night. Uh, we weren't expecting that, but otherwise slept pretty good. But, uh, well, we're just kind of cruising and seeing what we can see today. Finally got some sun. It's very, very nice. We're making crazy time today. The I bet you we are doing oh 10 kilometers an hour on the river. Or faster at times. With this flood stage, it's uh, you move along real quickly. Maybe we could have done an extra day of paddling, but we might end up finishing early at this rate. <laughs> we'll see.
just finished lunch. Very good, thank you. Um, and uh, it was a good morning. We seen a lot. We seen uh, roe deer, seen some beaver, a lot of birds. The sun came out. Uh, the water is moving really fast, like we mentioned before. And uh, crazily, if that's a word, I don't know if that's a word. Um, we're almost at the end. We put in like 32 kilometers before lunch. So, then, and that was spending half the morning without even paddling, just steering so we could do photos because it was such a beautiful morning. So, it was, this river is moving. Um, we'll probably be in uh, Vichy, uh, what, in the next hour, hour and a half? Hour and a half, yeah. And we were going to plan on just camping here, but it's only like one. So, we'll probably head into Vichy, take up Arthur Canoe, and we have to hit a train to go about, what, an hour? How far south? Hour and a half. Hour and a half south, um, back to where we parked the car. And from there, we'll have a few days of exploring. But uh, we're gonna enjoy the river, keep going, and I guess we'll catch up with you when we're tearing this thing apart. Yeah. So, it's been a good trip, though. Mm -hmm. I mean, now the sun's out, the weather's good. It's beautiful. Have to tell the river to slow down. <laughs> We're in Vichy and we're all ready to go. We're gonna pack up and then we'll get back with you when we're finished. See you soon. our uh, 90 kilometers on the river and we're now at the train station in Vichy heading back to the car. Uh, the river was great. I loved the last three days. Um, Carol's on the camera so anyways uh, we both had a good time, we've seen a lot of wildlife. Uh, it went really quickly. We were planning on paddling tomorrow but finished up by 2 p.m. today and had everything packed up. Now we got about 10 minutes and then back to the car. So, well see you on the next trip. <laughs>